All right, so for today we're gonna keep, we're gonna take a look at the new Aquaman six seven inch page puncher by McFarlane. Um, definitely, you know, just some some quick thoughts. Um, definitely like this guy better than this guy. You'll see why in a minute. But it comes with the comic book. I do like that they give you a comic book there, and that's a little bit more value for your money. Uh, they give you a stand, and they give you a little trading card too. Um, it's great to read about the character and find out what what uh, what adventures he's up to, or put some context around the figure you're collecting. We'll just move you to the side. So this particular figure has a couple of drawbacks. Number one, when I was putting this on, it's on really tight. So I lost his hand once. Uh, it's on there pretty tight. For this review, I'm going to try and pop it off without breaking his hand. Let's see. There it is. All right. Well, here's a trident. I've never liked this gummy plastic, but it does the job, I guess. All right. So for this figure, we'll start off with the head. Pretty good head sculpt. It's got nicely detailed. He can't look up at all. He's not going to be able to look up, period, because of that hair sculpt. He can look to the side. The hair will get out of the way. He can look a little bit down. Actually, quite a bit down, but he cannot look up at all. Unless you pop the head off. The other thing you're going to find is this is some really great detail uh, in here. It, 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 it feels like mail chain. It feels like some kind of mail chain. It's interesting. Uh, the other thing, highly detailed, the other thing is that you don't get extra hands. I mean, McFarlane rarely does extra hands, so you can't choose your own hand adventure. So just got to deal with what you got, right? Uh, he's got mid torso articulation. He's got a bend at the, he's got some articulation at the waist as well. He can bend forward. He's got some ab crunch there and he's got a lot of ab crunch to the back. So you can really go backwards there. Um, the other thing that's, you know, you got your regular semi butterfly joint up here at the, at the arm, you can come up, you can rotate all the way around. He's got a bicep cut, double jointed arms, um, kind of touch his beard. You know, what, what's, what's going on here? So, yeah, so he can, it's got some good articulation in the arms, but the thing about that articulation is that with, I mean, this is gummy as well, so it gets out of your way, but um, yeah, it also pushes back down, right? So, you know, you might be limited with this arm, unless you could take this off. I don't know if it comes off or not, but anyways, uh, same articulation as the Manta before, kicks about that high, goes back about this much with his double jointed elbows. I mean, double jointed knees. He's got a problem. You know, this fan is going to hinder his articulation all the way to the back. No thigh cut. I mean, some movement, but not much. His, you know, the ball joint that McFarlane is renowned for. And this guy tends to have a lot more problems standing up than that guy. I mean, I do have him on a base, so that's a little bit of a cheat. But still, I, I just, this guy has a lot more problems standing up than, than Manta did. So overall, it's not a bad figure. Um, it's not great. Um, certainly is a is a good stylized version of Aquaman. I wish they would have done. I don't know, something where he could look back. This is not the best, but he does have. I said a lot to look down. Can look up this way. I guess you could just bend him all the way back. That would look weird. But. Uh, Anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's the review for Mr. Aquaman. Uh, we'll be doing some more reviews later. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's Mr. Aquaman. Let's see if I can stand him up back here. And thanks for watching. Everybody have a great day.